Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, let me share my screen first. Here, here it is. Let me show you a few examples. So I have added a three fields to the search panel. Country name, city name, and ringed name. And this database, uh, it was publicly available on the internet. And uh, it allows you to map your IP address or IP address range to uh, a country and region. So let me show you like a few simple SQL queries that may be generated by your application. For instance, you want to search for something like uh, city name, okay. Select everything from IP to location where city name is Milan. And it will run for about 15 seconds. So I do not have an index on city name. I just want to show you how it works. And yeah, it's probably it was a total about 15 seconds. And it returned how many? Uh, about 200. 30,000 records. Let's run a similar search on a country name. Country name Ireland. It works much faster though the amount of data is about the same. Uh, what's the difference? The difference is, is I have an index on country name and I do not have an index on city name. So this is the software I use. It's a Heidi SQL. In every software has an option to show you indexes and create them visually. You can also do that uh, using uh, SQL queries. Here's a SQL query that I used to create an index for country name. That's a syntax for MyScale. It's very similar for SQL Server. You just go to SQL Server Management Studio and uh, create indexes there. So let me show you what how indexes uh, look here. You see it shows you you have one index. You can add more if you want to, but we're not going to do for this specific table. We will do it for other tables. It took me like an hour yesterday to create an index for these single fields because this is a pretty large database. So it's not still huge. It's like the whole size is about three gigabytes, and most of it is data, but some part of it is uh, the index itself. I will explain in a little bit what indexes are. Let me show you the something else, how you can figure out how much, like again, it's for MySQL, but there are similar, similar comments for SQL Server as well. So, this is how you can see you see it shows you that number of records 46 million uh, data length it's probably database size and 
index length it's uh, 220 megabytes so it's about like it, it's about uh, what seven eight percent of uh, the size of the database so every index that you add it will slow down i mean it, it will also i mean it's it will speed up searches but it will take a little bit of the disk space but nowadays disk space is not that important so you can pretty much show you can pretty much do that uh, for every possible search you can create an index and it will speed up your database operation significantly and you don't need to worry much about the disk space how do you know which indexes to add uh, there is a feature in mysql and as well in the sql server that helps you understand that this is a simple query and there is only like one web clause and obviously you need to to make this specific uh, query faster you need to just set an index for country name that's very easy and you need to do this for every possible search combination that you might have which means if you have a large database you need to think uh, through all possible scenarios and uh, at all possible indexes if you want uh, your users to have a pleasant experience and you will have to restrict a lot you need to, uh, I will show you like what options do you need to choose in phpRana and aspirana.net or what options to restrict rather to make sure that indexes are being used okay so in my scale you can add uh, the word explain in front of the SQL query and run it and it shows you what does it tell us it says uh, possible keys country key that the actual key being used country and extra it's a, a little bit explanation if it says using index you're fine so let's do the same thing for for instance uh, region name or city name city name it doesn't matter we said Belgium because we're not going to run the query itself we just asking my skill to explain it you see the number of rows it will have to scan is 46 million so and it says using where instead of using index so every time you have a complex query and explain in front of it run it and it will show you execution plan if multiple tables will be involved or there are joins on everything it will show you all the information here and every time you see using where instead of using index and the number of rows it needs to scan that's a that's a hint for you like what indexes you need to add uh, to improve it uh, there is a bunch of things that you need to you can do in page Piranha that will slow down your web application even if you use indexes because indexes will only work in certain situations so you need to understand when indexes are going to be used and then they're not going to be used okay so the ideal scenario for this kind of project would be using advanced search or search panel only okay let me show you next searching through the settings so this is what you're looking for this is what makes this is the kind of scenario that makes most sense when we're looking working with uh, huge data sets like i showed you in the first example 46 million records so you only use search panel this one i was experimenting with you don't need it and for the search panel you also only choose like a single options which is equals this way it will work 
real fast indexes will be used but if you use contains anywhere it will be slow